All right, what we have here is the uh, Inficon Perkmate. It's actually the, it's funny, uh, they, uh, they sent me, I mean, I bought it new on eBay, but uh, I got relabeled Inficon Techmate over the green label. You can see underneath there is uh, the Perkmate. But when I read up on it, it's actually the same as the Techmate. The difference is the sensor. And you have to use the sensor in the blue bag. It's the same part number. Inficon just changed their sensor in February 2013 and uh, they increased the sensitivity to our 410A. Uh, the testing isn't that sensitive on our 410A, but this one seems to be very sensitive on uh, CFC. You see on the reference leak here, it picks it up about a quarter inch away, which is even better than what the H10 will do. And uh, so I'm curious what this does uh, with the R22. It's, probably quite sensitive to R22. <clears throat> so I'm going to start off at one part per million. I'll do 10cc, then 100cc. <clears throat> Okay, one part per million. We got our sensitivity on high. You see, it quite easily picks it up. It also picks it up very fast. Blow, so it's less than a second. Blow, and I count it one one thousand before I even finish. It's already setting it off at one part per million. It's because it's got a pretty decent suction on it. Suction, but uh, the sensor is located right here. It looks like it just draws a vacuum in that whole area. You gotta have the rubber cap in place. There we go, one part per million again. Push, sets it off. So let's go to 500 parts per billion. So we're gonna do one part per million first, and I'll blend it down. So we got 10 cc. One part per million. <coughs> now I'm going to blow out half. Fill it up with air. 500 parts per billion. It's still see it's quite sensitive. <laughs> I'm still breathing Freon when I fill the balloon. It's picking that up, the Freon in my breath. I probably have a blood Freon level, which is higher than one part per million. <clears throat> now let's go 250 parts per billion. See how we do. Because when yeah, you know, when this can pick up the reference leak <coughs> from the H10, and when it picks it up a quarter inch away, it's a pretty sensitive leak detector. <coughs> so here's 250 parts per billion. It still sets off like it's nothing. Push. So let's do 125 parts per billion. <coughs> I think this is going to push the, <clears throat> the limits of my test. 75 parts per billion. I'm just dividing by two each time. But I'm going to have a hard time getting too pure because of the contamination on a syringe. It's getting a little harder to pick up 75. Let's go 35 parts per billion. Actually, be 37, I guess. <clears throat> I 
37 parts per billion. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm losing accuracy. Now we're going to be at around 20 parts per billion. parts per billion, which is about as good as you're going to get. <clears throat> it's not sensitive to the syringe, but even there's, when you're dealing with parts per billion, it's going to be pretty difficult to have a pure syringe. To really get into parts per billion, I would need to use a one part per million balloon and blend that down instead of starting with a 10 part per million. But let's try it again. Let's go straight to 100 parts per billion. <coughs> so first, let's do our one part per million. This time I'm going to take out 90 cc. I'm just going to take it straight to 100 parts per billion. So I'm going to blow out 90. I'm going to suck back in 90 of air. So now we're at 100 parts per billion in the syringe. quite sensitive. Let's take it to 50 parts per billion. Thank you. 